Hey everyone, so B&M Hall Time. I don't know about you, for me personally, B&M is an adult playground. I love it. And I may have spent just a little bit too much money, but I do have a massive haul for you. So. Hey Laura. So they had this hanging up, I just had to play it for you because Do you hear what I hear? So yeah, we'll start with some snacks. Literally just your normal snacks. Nothing too fantastic, nothing too interesting. Keeps the kids happy. But I did find, I haven't seen these for years. Have you? Only 50p in B&M for a pack of five. So bargain, if you like these, run to B&M. Other foodie items, coffee, personally, my favourite coffee, I have opened it because your girl needs a coffee every day. I got some of this, it's a Skinny Food Company's one. It's only a little bottle, it's brilliant, it lasts ages. If you like vanilla coffee or vanilla iced coffee, I would highly recommend that. It's no calories either per serving. Love it. So I grabbed a couple of those. Grabbed some sweeteners because I needed sweeteners. <laughs> I grabbed something else. Now, if you're a 90s kid, this will make you happy. They had Sunny D. I haven't tried it. I don't know if it tastes the same as it did in the 90s. Probably not. But I had to have it. Had to have some Sunny D. The nostalgia is real. Moving on to the cleaning aisle. Love a bit of the cleaning aisle. I grabbed some brushes. 1.99 for five. Gonna use them. Got to clean out a guinea pig cage and things. So don't really mind if one gets ruined because... They're dirt cheap. I grabbed some bleach for 50p. I grabbed some fairy scent boosters. If you haven't tried these, I highly recommend them. They do also, they sell them in a lot of places, but this one is 2 dollars in B&M. Um, I love them. I don't use them in every wash. I personally use them for bedding, blankets, things like that. Um, but they smell gorgeous. They smell so good. You can smell them through the box. I love these. Grab some washing up liquid because I don't have a dishwasher. My dishwasher is me. Sometimes I have a half and never the kids, but dish soap. I also grabbed some cleaning wipes. I know they're not best for the environment and things, but sometimes you just want to get on. So I've got a packet of cleaning wipes. Hand soap because wash your hands, people. I don't know. Grab some bubble bath because who doesn't need bubble bath? This one, I think it was, pretty sure it was $1.99, but it's a nice big bottle, so hopefully that will last a little while if the kids don't get a hold of it. Um, carpet foam. I don't know if anyone else uses that as well. I think a lot of people do, but yeah, you spray it down after you've hoovered. It's like the reverse of straightening back. Helps freshen up your carpets after you've hoovered, give it a better smell. I also grabbed some fabric conditioner. I got this one. I've never tried this one, but I do like the pink stuff as a brand, so I thought I'd give this one a go. It smells really nice. It's got quite a strong smell. I can't really describe the scent, but it's strong, so I'm not sure. If you've got sensitive skin, it might not be brilliant. I'll give it a go. I grabbed one of these. Um, it's like a sponge cloth. 
Um, I've had one before, I really like it. It holds so much water, it's up to seven times the weight in water it will hold. Grab some Harpic toilet cleaning rim block things. I quite like these ones because they foam. I normally use minky cloths but they can get quite pricey. They're about $2.70 each so I picked up this one instead to give a go. It comes with three microfiber cloths and three sponges that are very similar but not the same to the minky cloths and they were £4 so much better value for money. Give those a go. Moving on from that, I bought one of these. It's just a mini dustpan and brush. It was one ninety nine. I grabbed that because my daughter wants to move her guinea pigs up to the, her bedroom now that the weather's getting colder. And just for dusting around the edge of their cage every now and again, it's much easier size to have in a room. So I'll hook that up on the side. Little mini dust brush. Along the pet line and cleaning, I grabbed some cat litter freshener. I like to stick it down every time I change this tray. Obviously, I'm not saying sprinkle this in and don't change the tray, but I grab some of that. I have this one. It's just a, it's not in here, I've already put it out for him. Just a little cat bed. It was actually reduced to a tenner, not £15, so bargain in my opinion. I was going to make one, but couldn't do it for a tenner. So yeah, that's all right. Keep him warmer. Nice little hidey hole for him. Going back to the whole guinea pig thing. Just got them some uh, da dried dandelion. They do love a bit of dandelion. If you do have a guinea pig, don't give them too much in one go. But they love it. So, kind of a treat. A, a pet cooling vest. Um, I have a pug and they're prone to overheating. So in the summer, this is gonna be really handy. It was actually reduced to a pound when I scanned it and we all love a bargain. So grabbed one of those, put it away for next summer. Moving on from pets, I found a set of socks reduced to a quid. If your house is anything like mine, I get through so many socks. I mean, where do the socks go? I could rant all day about socks, but I bought some more socks. Hopefully they will stay in pairs, probably not. Along the lines of things that were reduced when I scanned them. love it love a reduced item i got this elephant oil burner it's a candle one it was a pound really lovely other things i got that were reduced um is this so it's those lights you can stick them under your kitchen counters along your baseboards some people put them upstairs or whatnot it says that they were 19.99 they weren't, they were reduced to, I think it was 9 99 or a tenner, but either way it was, it was about a tenner. So I grabbed those. I probably won't stick them up. What I'm probably gonna do with them because you've either got your remote control or you can click them on and off. I'll probably put them in a box. Because I live out in the countryside, we get quite a lot of power cuts from trees falling on limes and things like that in the winter. So now I'm gonna move on to some Christmas things. Don't hate me, I know it's October. I, I know, but if I don't start now, I will have such a huge Christmas bill. It'll be a nightmare, so I always start early. So I picked up a bottle of wine or mummy juice which I'll probably have over the weekend as a nice little treat. Quite like this one. If you like Jammy Red Rue, this isn't too far off and it's only about 4 99 a bottle. But Christmas presents I picked up and luckily they won't be watching this because they don't have the internet. One of these, it was 4 99 it comes with a glass. Um, the person this is for happens to particularly like this one. So nice little present, pop that away. I picked these up, you get six in there for two pounds. I normally make some mince pie brownies and things like that for the teachers every year. So I thought nice little boxes and the kids can decorate them, which is always a bonus. I found these. So there's French herbs. I've got Mexican chili. And then I picked up a golden barrel cactus one. They were run free for two, but they were also reduced to a pound. So I got all three of those for two quid. I thought, ideal little things to pop away in your Christmas box and I also thought for teachers you could ask your ki you could have your child paint this one and then it's quite a nice little personalized gift. I picked up these to go on my tree for two of my children because they were reduced to 50 pence 
and I love a bargain. I picked up now, even though I would have liked to have waited longer, these stockings. I picked them up now because I needed four and finding all four letters was probably going to be incredibly difficult. They're a fiver, they're so soft, they're really lovely, they were going to last years. If you're looking to get them with the letters I highly recommend you go soon because finding all four of mine this time was difficult, there was only one E. Don't walk, run if you need these. <laughs> Christmas pyjamas. I didn't get any last year and all the kids were gutted so this year I managed to get all of the sizes that we need and these ones just say Christmas Crew 2022, they've got little grey bottoms, I think they're lovely and they're so much cheaper. I mean a lot of the time you go into places and it's sort of 15-20 quid per set. These little ones were a fiver, the most expensive ones were the men's ones and they were a tenner so if you want Christmas pyjamas that match don't walk, run grab them now. If you like this video you'll probably like the next one coming. I ordered a mystery box from Amazon so I have no idea what's in it and that should be here next week so when it comes I will open it, record myself opening it, you'll see my real reactions and hopefully not too much disappointment. If that's something you like the sound of hit likes, hit subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye.